everyone and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swoosh and I'm reviewing the market here. Two o'clock on Monday. Woo, rough start to June for the market. Uh, rough May and a rough start to June. So let's just take a look. I mean, two hours left to go. Where are we gonna close? Nobody knows. But here is, in fact, let's just go back and look at the whole thing here. So this is, this is the market. You can see the move that the market has made over the last several years. You can see even the move that the market made from 2016, the jimongous move that we had up, hit brand new all-time highs so many times over and over and over again. So, you know, I think people were getting a little greedy think, thinking that this market will continue going higher forever, particularly after December when we rallied after the sell-off in December, we rallied straight up like a rocket, you know, and we did make new highs after that. And we just did that actually before the drop-off. But what I'm seeing here is just way too much weakness in the markets to say that we're going to move higher right now this second with any follow through. That does not mean that we're not going to have green days here or there. Of course, there will be days when the market rallies. There will be days where there are green days in the market. Even if, even if the market was in a downtrend, which it's not, and I'm not saying it's going to go in a downtrend, but even if we were in that environment, you still have rally days. You'd still have green days. You'd still have days that there would look like it, there's buying or you would have short covering, which would be green. But anyways, long story short, let me just see here the low. 273.68. Very tricky here. But I guess the, 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 the point that I want to make to people is that this is a very tricky market. It's very volatile. Be careful. Do not be buying dips in this market. I never suggest for people to do that, even if we close green today, even if we rally tomorrow. I don't see the follow through here that's going to lift the market back up and around and over itself to hit up over the high again anytime soon. So know that. Know that going in. And if you're long, I would be in short term longs. And it, when you get up in the morning, if you're in shorts, which I've been calling, I've been calling a lot of shorts and, they're, and they've all worked. So. You know, when, when you see this environment right now, you have to really know what you're doing. It's stock specific. And that's what I tell people to look at. Stock specific stuff where you don't need to be watching the market to get a good trade and to get a good move. Because this market is challenging to read. I read it well. I, I will continue to read it well. I'm very good at reading this market. But it's because I read gaps. And a lot of people don't understand gaps. And a lot of people are looking at supports or looking at resistance or looking at moving averages or looking at pullbacks. Most people that trade the market, 99% of the people that are out there trading this market do not have a clue how to read a chart based on gaps. And gaps are very important. And if you come and you learn from me, you'll understand that you your eyes will be open wide if you do my golden gap course because you will see and understand how important gaps are but i'm telling you that 99.9 .9 percent of the people that are trading that are out there that are managing funds that are stockbrokers that talk on tv with me people do not understand gaps and they don't understand how important they are and they're extremely important and in these times when the market's volatile you have to focus and i'm focused on what i know which works and it's good and it's directing me to see where we go from here when I get up in the morning and I see the gap. So again, a review is a gap is a difference between the close and the open. So I don't know where we close tonight and I don't know where we open tomorrow, but I will know that tomorrow. And so that's when I will rate the gap. And that is what you will learn from me. So good luck, everyone. Fabulous calls here on the Stocks for Show Live Trading Room and fabulous calls that I've done in the options letter too. People are really making a lot of money with me and they, they need to make sure to take their profits, okay? I know when you see these moves in some of these big trades, Facebook, Google, some of these ones I've called, it's, you know, I know people get greedy, but I'm telling you, you can't forget what this is. When you are trading, you must book the money. It's never over to the fat lady things, so to speak. So you got to make sure that you get out with the profits and the big ones will come. They will come. And it's really about the consistency. And I'm consistently calling good trades. So just, you know, do them all, I say. And make sure you take the class. Learn it. Learn it. Learn and understand it. And be very careful with what you're trading in this environment, everybody. Have a great day. And if you're interested in the Golden Gap course, email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com. Good luck, everyone. Good luck this week. And watch the market.